All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another free live pronunciation class with Connect English. We've got an awesome group of students in here from all different countries in the world. So let's start the class today with a high world. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hi. Okay, cool. If you're watching from around the world, if you're on Facebook watching now, please in the comments write where you are watching from, right? Uh, hello from France. Uh, hello from Belarus. Uh, hello from Bolivia. Hello from uh, Taiwan. Okay, write it in the comments because it's always interesting to see which countries, which cities, and which languages our audience, our students, are watching from and which languages they're speaking. So type it in the comments, say, you know, hi from San Francisco, California. Hi from Vladivostok, Russia. Hi from, uh, from Astana, Tur uh, Ast Astana, Kazakhstan. Okay, type it in the comments, please. And also, please share the class. Click the share button, it's totally free. And so we want you to give the class to your friends who are also watching on Facebook so they can watch on Facebook with you. We've got a really cool group of students in the class today from so many different countries. I'm really happy about the diversity, all the countries in the class today. We've got Leonardo from Italy. We've got Joao from Portugal. We've got Nami from Japan. We've got Tiffany from? The U.S. All right. We've got June from Korea. We've got Jane from China. We've got Jessica from the Central African Republic. We've got Bernard from Spain. Mariana from Argentina. Sophia from China. We've got uh, Ayuri from Japan. We've got Mary from Taiwan and Shoko from Japan. So it's a really cool group of students who are in the class right now. So let's talk about the class, let's talk about the rules. Rule number one of my pronunciation class is do not cross your arms. Uncross them, okay? Because we are going to have to feel the sounds as we speak them, okay? We're gonna be using our hands to indicate and to feel, oh, I, I, oh, 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 uh, okay? So I don't want anybody to cross your arms. Uncross them. And rule number two in my pronunciation class is don't worry about mistakes, okay? I have chosen difficult vocabulary, vocabulary that frequently causes mistakes. So if you make mistakes, that's okay, because we're going to learn from them. If you make a mistake, we will help you fix it, help you speak more clearly, okay? You all ready to start? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So I already said I chose these because they're difficult, but why more specifically did I choose these 10 words? Why these 10? Because pairs. Minimal pairs, they're similar, exactly. A little difference in the sound makes a big difference in what they mean. And if we're not careful about the sounds, we're going to say the wrong word. Mariana, what's up with your arms? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, okay, all right, cool, good. Uncross them, okay? Oh, we got to get ready to feel the sounds. So yeah, a small difference in the sound makes a big difference in the meaning. And also, part of the problem is that some of these sounds don't exist in many languages, okay? For example, I know that in Portuguese, the uh, uh, uh sound does not exist. Right, Joao? No. Exactly, okay? So we have to, many students say, Nick, I don't, I don't hear the difference. I don't really hear it. So uh, if I don't hear the difference, uh, how do I know? by feeling it, okay? Uh, 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 okay, physically feeling it. So let's get started. First, what is this? What does this mean? An animal. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's an animal, good answer though, okay? What sound does this animal make? <laughs> Meh, right, okay. All right, so there are two animals that make that sound. There's the goat, right? And then there's the sheep that has more fur that we use to make a shirt or a sweater with, okay? Um, so a sheep is the animal. What is this? A big boat, right? A big boat. What's the most, maybe the most famous ship in history? Titanic. Titanic, yeah. But that's a great one. Okay, good one to remember. So let's talk about the difference in the sounds. For this one here, everybody think about your front teeth. Think about your front teeth. Shoko, you're doing it. Good job, okay? Think about your front teeth right here, okay? This is important. Think about the top of your mouth right here. Top of your mouth. Okay? And think about your tongue. Your tongue for this one is high in your mouth. So your tongue is high. And just a little bit of air is leaving your mouth when you say it. So everybody say it with me. Let's do it together. Yeah, and maybe even close your eyes and think about your tongue. 
and your tongue is high. E, 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 she. She. Yeah, that's an easy sound, right? Sophia, pretty easy, right? Yeah. June, pretty easy sound, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Because this sound exists in, I think, almost every language on earth. We have the e, e, e sound, so it's easy. But this is the new sound, and this is where we have to stop trying to hear it and start focusing on how it feels. Okay, it's going to feel a little strange, a little interesting for some students. So same thing, think about your front teeth right here, okay? Think about the top of your mouth, but now your tongue is low. Low in your mouth and breathe more. Ooh, sounds good. So here's what I want everybody to do. Please get out your cell phones and put it on selfie camera, okay? Get your selfie camera ready, everybody, because I want you to look at your mouth when you do this. And it's important to look at where your tongue is. Your tongue is now going to be low. Eh, eh. So let me give an example to the people watching on Facebook. This one is eh, eh, shep, eh. So you have to see your tongue. Your mouth is more open. Your tongue is low. You're breathing more. Eh, shep. Okay. So look in your selfie camera. And make sure your mouth is more open now and your tongue is low. Shep. 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 Everybody sounds really good. I can really hear the difference. Good job. Jane, can you give it a try for us? Shep. 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 Really good. That sounded great. I saw you open your mouth more. And now the easy one, please. Sheep. Good job. I really heard the difference and I saw the difference. So we have E. With the high tongue, and then here for this one, low tongue, breathe out more. Eh, eh, sh, sh. All right, Leonardo, give it a try for us. First, the easy one, sheep. Sheep. Great. <laughs> and now the more difficult one, but you can do it. Low tongue, breathe out. Ship. Good job, dude. It sounds really good. Now, I mean, you've been in my class before. I think you're going to be great. Give us sheep. Sheep. Good. And now open up, breathe out for ship. Sure. Good job. I really heard the difference and I really saw the difference. So again, look at your mouth. Eh, eh. Sh sh eh. You gotta breathe more, okay? Mary, give it a try for us. Give us the difficult one first. Sh sh really good. And now sheep. Sheep. Great job. I saw the difference and I could hear the difference. Good work. Alright? Mariana, give it a try. Give us sheep. Sheep. And now low tongue. Sh sh Very good. Bernard, your turn for sheep. Sheep. And ship. Sheep. Jessica, your turn. Sheep. Sheep. And ship. Good job. Uh, Ayuri, give it a try first. Ship. Sheep. Oh, no, low tongue first. Uh, ship. Sheep. Good. Uh, one more time. Good job. Ship. Sheep. Mm, open more. Uh, ship. Sheep. Better. Okay. Breathe more. Ship. Sheep. One more time. Sheep. Better. Now this one. Sheep. Sheep. Good. And one more time. Ship. Yeah. That's it. You got it. Good job. Very, very good. Okay. Let's go to Joao. Sheep. Sheep. And now low tongue. Breathe out. Ship. Ship. Good job. I really heard it and I saw it. Let's do it as a class. Everybody's doing great with this. High tongue, everybody, for this one. E, e, e. Sheep. Sheep. And now low tongue. Breathe out. One, two, three. Ship. 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 Good. Good job. So some, many students say, Nick, I, I don't hear the difference though. Sheep, 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 sheep. You have to stop for now. Stop trying to hear it and focus on how it feels. Uh, 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 ship. And after you practice for a couple weeks with the uh, 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 sound, your ears will start to hear the difference. You'll say, I can hear it now, but it takes some practice. So please focus on how it feels first. Open up, low tongue, breathe more. Eh, eh, eh. Sheep. Okay? Sheep. Good. So one more time as a class, everybody. One, two, three. Sheep. Sheep. And now open up, breathe out. Sheep. Sheep. Good job, everybody. Nice work. Okay, the next one. This is an adjective and this is a noun, but what does this one mean? Warm. Sophia, you're doing something. I like it. What are you doing? What, do you, what does it mean? Comfortable warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not hot, right? But it's just like a little, little bit sunnier, higher temperature than normal, but not... Uh, okay, is the temperature in San Diego warm or hot right now? 
hot. Yeah, I think it's hot, right? Yeah, if you go to like the beach, it's going to be just warm. It's going to be the temperature's a little lower, but since Connect English is a little farther from the beach, it's not warm, it's hot. But let's talk about the pronunciation for this one. For this one, everybody please put up one finger, okay? And touch right here, your nose and your lip, okay? For this one, you're going to pull your lip and nose down. Oh, ah, Junior, doing it. Good job. Warm. Yeah, I hear you. Good job. Warm. Warm. Yeah, it's very warm in this classroom. Warm. Okay. Warm. Joao, well, give it a try. Warm. Warm. Mm, pull your lip down more. Oh. Warm. That's it. I heard the improvement and I saw it. Good job. Leonardo, your turn for warm. Good work. Junior, you were practicing it. Give it a try. Warm. Good. Now pull your lip down more. Warm. Warm. Mm, but I need to see your lip go down. Oh. That's it. I saw it and I heard it that time. Jessica, your turn for warm. That's it. Good job. Okay. And now uh, Shoko, give it. Yeah. Shoko, give it a try. Warm. Good job with the lip down. Okay. So again, look at that selfie camera again and look at your lip and your nose. You want your lip to go down. Oh. Oh, it's not ah, warm. A lot of students say warm. That's not it. This is oh, 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 warm, oh, oh. It takes more effort, okay? It's uh, more calories to make this sound oh, 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 oh. It's good face exercise, warm. Sophia, you're doing it. I can see it and I can hear it. Good work, okay? Now, this one is the little animal, the little insect, right? Before it becomes a butterfly and it lives in your apple, right? Yeah. You take a bite from your apple and, oh, no, there's a worm in my apple. Worm. This one also takes a lot of effort. Let me show the camera at home, and I'll tell you guys, or all the people who are watching around the world. For this one, your lips need to be forward and open. Err. Err. Nami, you're doing it. Good job. Worm. Worm. And then the temperature is kind of warm. Warm. Oh, oh, oh. Err, err, err. Worm. Okay. So let's practice that. We've already done this one really well. So now let's practice the er, er, er sound, like early. You're gonna push your lips forward, but also open. Er, worm, yeah. Okay, Mary, you're doing it. Give it a try, give us worm. That's really good, perfect pronunciation, okay? Uh, Mariana, try it, worm. Uh, you're yawning, yeah, worm. You're kind of doing the oh, I want er. That's it. With the lips forward and open is the better sound. Er, er, er. Bernard, give it a try. Worm. Mm, kind of in the middle. Push your lips more forward, but also open. Er. Worm. Worm. Open more. Worm. Worm. <laughs> Getting better, okay? Getting better. Because this one here is o, o, o. This one here is er, er, er. Imagine a horse with peanut butter on its teeth. Er, er, er. Worm. Okay? Worm. Okay, so let's try it as a class together first. Remember, think single finger, touch right here for this one. Warm. Warm. Good, and now for this one, er, 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 worm. Warm. Junior, you're doing it. Really good job with both of them, okay? So again, let's take a look at our selfie camera for this one. And I want you to think about your lips. You're gonna push them forward and also open them. Er, er, worm. Worm, I got right, I already, good job. Worm. Okay, er, 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 worm. Okay, and then this one, you're gonna pull your lip down. Oh, warm. It's really warm in here. Okay, and then er, 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 worm. So I'm gonna call on some people to do both. Okay, let's go to Nami. She's been in the class before. Give us first warm. Warm. Really good job. And now push the lips forward. Worm. Worm. Really good job. Er, 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 and oh, oh, oh. Okay? Then out of first, this one here, give us warm. Warm. Good job. And now push the lips forward, worm. Worm. Really good job, man. All right, let's go to, why don't we go to Shoko for this one. Give us warm. Warm. Good job. And now push the lips forward and open, worm. Wow. Good job. I really hear it. Good work, okay? Let's do it as a class, everybody. One, two, three, warm. Warm. Yeah. And then for this one, push it forward and open. One, two, three, worm. Warm. Good job, everybody. I can hear it, and I can see everybody pushing the lips forward. Good job. Okay, this one's pretty easy, okay? For this one, this is another name for a bag, okay? It is a bag for maybe some, some vegetables, 
Um, uh, you could say that your backpack is a type of sack. May I show this as an example? It's a good one. This is kind of a sack, right? You can put some books, you can put your pencils, your phone into a sack, okay? But <coughs> it's another word for a bag. And then this one, of course, is what you wear under your shoes, right? Right here. So uh, I think most of us are wearing socks today. Let's practice these together. For this one, put up two fingers, everybody. Two fingers. And this one here, touch the sides and back of your throat. Ah. ah. Sack. Sack. That's right. And now this one is much easier. Put up one finger and touch here. Ah. Oh. Oh. Sock. Sock. Yeah. So feel how the sound for this one comes from the middle back of your throat. And for this one comes from the sides and back of your throat. Sack. Ah, ah, ah. And sock. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, Bernard, you're doing it. Let's give it a try for us. Give us sack. Sock. Ah, 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 ah. Sock. Good. And now sock. Sock. Good job. Okay, let's go to Ayuri. Give it a try. Give first. Give us sock. Sock. Good. And now ah, 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 sack. Sack. Good work. I really hear it. Okay, let's go to Jane for this next one. Let's give. Let's go with sack. Sack. Good job. And sock. Sock. Really good work. Joao, your turn for sock. Sock. Good. And then sack. Sack. Okay, Joao, I want you to uncross your arms, okay? You're not touching the right places, okay? You're going by ears, and that's a little dangerous today. Okay, let's do it as a class because I think this one's pretty easy. Let's do one, two, three, sack. Sack. Good, and one, two, three, single finger, sock. Sock. Good job, everybody. Really good. Okay, this next one uses the same sound as sack. This one is one dude, one fella. It is a, 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 a oh, I'm sorry, a, 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 two fingers, sack. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Man. Man. Good. The two fingers up. Ah, ah, ah. Man. And your mouth is open for this one. Yeah. One man. man. Okay. If there's two dudes, okay, two fellas, two bros, okay, you're going to, or more, you're going to put your teeth together. Almost the same sound. Men. Men. That's it. Two men, two men had a fight with one man. Okay. Man. So for this one, it's ah, 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 wide open. This one's almost the same sound. But close your teeth. Uh, 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 men. Yeah. Two men. Mm -hmm. Two men said hello. Uh, 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 okay. And then open bigger for this one. Man. Good. So it's pretty easy, but many students say, I don't really hear the difference. Man, 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 man. Focus on, for this one, your teeth. Now, you don't need to always say, man, when you say this. But just remember, don't open your mouth for this one. Keep your mouth mostly closed. Men. Amen. Amen. Yeah. If you open too much, you're going to say the singular version. Ah. Okay. I saw two men outside. Two men? That's not correct. I saw two men outside. Okay. And I saw one man inside. Okay. So let's practice it individually. Let's go to Sophia. Give us man. Man. Good job by opening. And now keep the teeth together. Men. Men. Good work. Okay. Let's go to Mary. Give us men. Men. Good job. And now open for man. Good job, I really heard it. Junior, turn for man. Man. Good, open more. Ah, man. Man. I like it. Now teeth together, men. Men. Good job. Bernard, give it a try. Men. Man. Men. Good, and now open for man. Man. Uh-huh, not ah, uh, ah, man. Man. That's better, okay? The sound should come from here, not here. Ah, all right? Joao, your turn, man. Man. Good, and now teeth together, men. Men. Good work, okay. Leonardo, your turn, men. Man. Okay, and now man. Man. That's it, okay? And let's go to Jessica. Man. Man. Good, and now teeth together, men. Man. Jane, your turn, man. Man. Good, and men. Man. Uh, you already give it a try, men. Man. And man. man. Good job. Okay, as a class, everybody, one, two, three, man. 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 And teeth together, men. Man. Man. Good work. I can hear it. I can see it. Oh, I didn't ask Mariana individually. I asked everybody but her. Mariana, try it. Man. Man. Good, and now teeth together, men. Man. Good work. I can hear the teeth together. Good job. Okay, last one. This is my favorite sound to teach, okay? This one here, this is when you say, you have a gun. You say, give me all your money, okay? Right? Does this happen in San Diego frequently? No. No, because it's a pretty safe city. But in some cities, it happens a lot. And this is the verb to rob, okay? Rob uses the same sound as sock. That single finger, ah, ah, ah. Ah, oh, give me your wallet, okay? I need your money now. Okay, you say, yeah, 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 no problem. Take my wallet, okay? This is to rob. This one is just a verb for if you're putting on sunscreen, for example. 
you're gonna rub your skin, okay? If you're putting lotion on, you're gonna rub, okay? Yeah, but the best way to pronounce this is with more pressure in your stomach. Are we ready, everybody? Put up your fist, okay? Get ready. Jessica, you're ready. You know what's up, okay? <laughs> Bernard, put up your fist. Put it up. All right, Mariana, you too. Okay, Gerard, you got it? This one is, uh, rub. 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 Yeah, the pressure is important, okay? So you could say, uh, I need to rob my skin in order to put the lotion on. I need to rob my skin. Put the lotion on right now! Okay? No, you need to rub your skin. You gotta put some pressure in your stomach, okay? Rub your skin, okay? Uh, so, you gotta put the pressure down here. Uh, okay? June, give it a try. Rub! Good job, man. I saw your head move when you did it because you're putting the pressure. Good work. Jane, your turn for this one also. Rub! Good job. And now the easy one, rob. Good job. I heard the difference of no pressure, good word, and with pressure. Good job. Jessica, your turn. Rub! Rub! <laughs> I love it. And now no pressure, just here. Ah, 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 Rob. Rob. That's right. Okay. Sophia, your turn. Rob. Rob. And now rub! Rub. That's it. Shoko, give it a try. Rub! Rob. Uh -huh. And now Rob. Rob. That's it. Okay. Are you ready? Give it a try. Easy one. Rob. Rob. Uh -huh. And now with the pressure. Rub! <laughs> That's good. The pressure makes a difference. A lot of students say, I don't think the pressure is super important. I think Nick's crazy. Okay, well, the pressure does not have to be, uh, okay, it just has to be some pressure. Okay, so let's practice as a class first with a lot of pressure, just for fun. Okay, ready? We're going to do the easy one first. One, two, three, Rob. Rob. And now a lot of pressure. Let's go crazy here. One, two, three, Rob. Yeah, Bernard, more pressure. Rub. That's it. Now, imagine that's 100%. Now turn it down to about 30% pressure. 30% pressure. That's good. Okay, rub. Rub. Some pressure is important. You don't need to walk around all day and say, Excuse me, sir, you have some, some lotion on your face. You need to rub your face because people will think you're crazy. Okay? So, but 30% pressure is fine. Rub. Rub that lotion into your nose. There's some still right here, right? You've seen that at the beach before, right? When you've been there with your friends and they put lotion on, they have some in their hair and they have some on their nose and everything. So, uh, ah, oh, he's checking the temperature. Okay, so um, <coughs> at the beach, you can imagine it's very popular, very common. You have to say, hey, rub that lotion into your face. There's still some of it right here or right here, okay? So let's practice it as a class with that 30% pressure, okay? Not the crazy, oh! We already did that. Let's start here with one, two, three, rob. rob. And now 30% pressure, one, two, three, rub. Rob. Yeah, the pressure is important, okay? It makes a difference. Okay, we're going to review all of them really quickly, but please, everybody who's watching on Facebook, remember to share this class, okay? Please share the class with your friends. It's totally free, and it's a great way to help your friends improve their English skills. Let's review them all here before we start our activity. Think about your front teeth, everybody. Think about our front teeth again. High tongue. Sheep. 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 Good job. And now, low tongue and breathe out. Ship. 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 Yeah, I saw a ship on the ocean. If you say, I saw a sheep on the ocean. Whoa, was she swimming okay? Did anybody rescue her? Oh my God, that's so sad. Is she all right? Okay, oh no, I saw a ship on the ocean, okay? Oh, well that's normal. Okay, but if you saw a sheep on the ocean, ay, that's a bad story, okay? Now this one here is the temperature. This one again, everybody put up that finger. Warm. Warm. Good job, Nami, I really saw it. Good work, very natural at it now, okay? Oh, 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 oh. This one here is the little animal that lives inside of fruits frequently. This one is with the lips forward and open, er, whir. Good job, Jane. I really see it back there. Er, er, er. Er, worm. There's a famous phrase in English that we use to say that when you arrive early, you get good things. We say the early bird gets the worm. The early bird gets the worm. Okay? And all three of those, or three of those nouns, uh, oh, the, well, three of those words. We have an adjective, a noun, and a noun. Uh, the early bird gets the worm it means if you arrive first, you're going to get good things because of it. Do you guys agree with that? Yes. Yeah. The first person to arrive at school frequently gets the donuts, right? If you arrive at 9.01, no more donuts because you were a little bit late. So the early bird gets the worm, we frequently say in English. Joao, give it a try. Give us worm. Worm. Good job. And now back to warm. 
Warm. Good job. Let's do it as a class, everybody. Warm. 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 And worm. Worm. Good job, everybody. Okay, this one here is pretty easy. A, -a, -a, -a bag for fruit or vegetables. Sack. 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 That's right. And then one, two, three here. Single finger. Sock. 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 Really good. This one here uses the same sound as sack. This is man. Man. Yeah, one man had a plan. Okay? And then this one is plural. Two or more teeth together, men. Men. Good job, everybody. Nice work. Okay? This one here, if you're going to take somebody's money, give me your money right now. Okay, this one is ah, 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 rob. Rob. Good job. And then this one here takes the pressure in the stomach. This is when you put some lotion on. This is ah, rub. Rub. Good. Give it the pressure, guys. Remember, the pressure matters. Rub. Rub. Good job. Okay, we ready for an activity? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to give you guys a telephone number, okay? But I'm not going to say the number. I'm going to say the words. So, for example, if I say sheep, that means put a zero. And that is a zero, okay? It's a little ugly, but that is a zero right there. If I say sock, that means a five. If I say rob, that means an eight. If I say rub, that's a nine, okay? So get a paper ready. Get some, uh, or you can use your phone if you want to type it into your phone. I'm going to give you the phone number of the Spanish consulate in San Diego. So, Bernard, maybe this will be a useful phone number for you, okay? This is the Spanish consulate in San Diego. So, I'm going to give you the phone number, but again, I'm not going to say the numbers. I'm going to say the word. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I say sack, that means put a four. If I say warm, it means put a two. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. The Spanish consulate in San Diego. The first three numbers are going to be very easy. Okay. You ready? The first three numbers. Okay. We have... R oh, I'm sorry, uh, man, ship, rub, easy, right? Okay, next ones are sack, sack, rob, men, warm, Rob, warm. Okay, who's feeling confident about the phone number of the Spanish consulate in San Diego? Joao, cool. What do you think the number is, man? 719-448-7282. Mm, one difference. One difference. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what is the phone? What is the... Anybody else want to try? What is it, Jessica? Ooh, one difference still, okay? <laughs> close, good job. Anybody else? We're pretty close. Mm, All right, me? Leonardo, what do you think? 619-448-7282. That's right. Yeah, it's a 619 because it's a local number. It's man, okay? And then ship, and then rub, and then we had sack, sack, and then we had rob, and then we had men, and then we had warm, and then uh, Rob Warm, okay? All right, who's feeling confident? I think I'm gonna call on Nami to be the next person because she has done my class before and I'm confident in you and I know you're good at this, okay? So Nami's gonna give, can you give a phone number of maybe mom's office, dad's office, any old phone number from when you were a kid, any number you remember, uh, give that to us or your number in San Diego, anything you wanna give. Okay, and remember, speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly, because everybody has to listen, look, and write, okay? All right, here we go. Good luck, Nami. Okay. Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Rap. Sheep. Rap. Check. Good job. Man. Warm. Sock. Sack. Good job. Sock. Sheep. Complete? <laughs> All right. Nice work, Nami. Some of them are a little close, some of them are super clear, we'll work on them together. Who's feeling confident about Nami's phone number in Japan? Sophia, what do you think? 
5450. I have one difference from that. Any differences, Nami? Two differences. Two differences. Okay, all right. Anybody else want to try it? I have 080-916-25450. That's not it? Okay, well, what is it, Nami? Let's hear the number. Okay. 090 9162 Ah, so you had one difference from me. Okay, and one difference from what Sophia heard. Okay, let's work on these. Eight and nine were ones that were very close. The first time you said, Rob, I didn't hear much pressure, but the second time you used a lot of pressure. So good job. So try it again for us. Rub. Rub. That's it. More. Ugh. Ah. Rub. Rub. Yeah, rub. Okay. And then the two and the three were difficult for some people. And so I heard it. I heard a warm. Okay. So good job. But I think some students heard worm. But one more time, everybody. This is oh, 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 warm. Warm. And then this one is er, 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 worm. That's it. Yeah, but it sounded pretty good to me. I heard warm. So nice job, Nami. Okay, good. So one more time. That number was 090-916-25450. All right, nice job, Nami. Okay, any volunteers? Nami was the veteran who has done this class before. All right, Mariana from Argentina. Okay, remember to speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? All right, here we go, everybody. Get ready. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready. Sock, sock, warm, sack, sheep, sock, man, 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 and sock. Okay, nice work. Who's feeling confident? Oh, Shoko put her hand up and scratched her ear, but I think she can do it. Okay, Shoko, go ahead. Good luck. What do you think? Five, five, three, four, zero, five, seven, seven, six, five. I have one difference. That's perfect? Yeah. Ah, she got it. I had one difference. My difference I heard was with two and three. I heard a number two. I heard you say warm, but I think you wanted to say er, worm. So give it a try, Mariana. Er. Worm. Worm. And now o. Worm. Worm. That's it. O, o, o. And er, er, er. Worm. Worm. This is worm. 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 Er, 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 like early. That's it. Better. It seems, feels strange, and it's going to take some practice, but er, 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 like early and birthday. That's it. And now for this one, pull your lip down more. O. That's it. I like to call this one the itchy nose sound. Imagine you're going to sneeze, right? And then you don't sneeze. Oh, 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 right? We have all felt that before, right? Oh, 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 okay? So this is warm. And this one is like the horse with peanut butter on the teeth. Worm. Which is strange because this is an A and this is an O, right? Why are the sounds so strange for these easy ad or these easy vowels? Well, that's English. I'm sorry. Okay. So one more time as a class today, everybody, pull your lip down. Warm. Warm. And then this one, push your lips forward and open. Er, worm. Er. Really good. I can hear it. Okay. One more person to volunteer. All right. Sophia wants to do it. Now remember, give us your phone number loudly, slowly, and clearly, please. Okay. Okay, here we go, everybody. Warm. 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 Man. Sheep. Man. Sheep. Man. Sock. Complete? Stop. Okay. That was really nice. That was super clear. Okay. Uh, let's see, Jane, what did you hear? What do you think it was? Two, three, three, six, zero, six, zero, five, seven, five. That's exactly what I have. Is that right? Oh, there was one difference, huh? Okay. Anybody else want to try? Leonardo? What do you think, man? 
Exactly. Ah, so 6061. Ah, so there's a zero and a one. I heard sheep, sheep. But remember this one is, Sophia, low tongue, breathe out, shh. Yeah. That's it. So the tongue is low, more air. Ship. Ship. Yeah. There was a ship on the ocean and a sheep at the farm. Okay. All right. One more and then we finish the class. One more volunteer. Joao from Portugal. You want to represent? Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. So loudly, slowly, and clearly. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Go ahead, Joao. Good luck. Rub. Worm, warm, sock, sack, sack, oh, I lost. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to start from the beginning? Let's just start from the beginning. Yeah. Everybody, start from the start, Joao, okay? So restart it, please, because you're doing oh, a great job. It's okay, you're doing a great job, but let's start from the beginning. Rub. Um, worm. Warm. Uh, sock. Sack. Sack. Mm -hmm. Warm. Sheep. Sheep. Complete? Yeah. Oh, cool. A nice, that's not a long number. I like that. Okay. I'm sure your classmates appreciate a short phone number. Sounded pretty clear to me. Any volunteers? June, what do you think? What's his phone number? Uh, 9235442. I had two numbers different in there. Oh, was he right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. So nice job, June. Okay. I had 932. And June had 923, otherwise everything was correct. 932. So it's correct. It's 932? Yes. Oh, did he say 923 or 932? 923. Ah, he said 923. So he did have two and three. And these are the hardest ones today, I think. I think these ones are the most difficult for everybody. So one more time as a class, everybody. That itchy nose. Huh? Huh? Oh, warm. Warm. Good. And now this one is like the lips forward and open like a horse. Worm. 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 That's it. Okay. All right. Let's review them all together. Okay. Let's review them all because we're finishing the activity. This one is high tongue sheep. Sheep. And now low tongue breathe out ship. Ship. Good. And this one here is oh warm. Good job, everybody. And this one here is teeth or lips forward worm. Worm. Good. And this one here is ah 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 sack. Sack. And this one here is ah 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 sock. Sock. Good. And this one here is a ah, 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 man. Man. And this one here is teeth together men. Men. Good job. And this one here is ah 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 raw. Raw. Yeah. And this one here is with the pressure in the stomach. Uh, rub. 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 Good job, everybody. Oh, yeah. So again, if you're watching on Facebook, please share the class and uh, give it to your friends. All right. So we always do a ceremony at the end of the pronunciation class, you guys. We're gonna put our arm out in front of us like this. Okay, everybody put your arm out. Okay, good job. Turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. Okay, good job. And also pat your neighbor on the back. Say, you did a good job too. Oh, good job. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thank you for enjoying and joining our class today. Uh, we're at the new campus in La Jolla for the next eight weeks, for this week and seven more. If you're in San Diego, you're always invited to come to the class, even if you're not a Connect English student. And if you'd like more information about Connect English, about coming to California to study English, just go to our website, connectenglish.edu. Uh, let's get a bye world from everybody who's in the class. Okay, you ready to say it, everybody? One, two, three, bye world. Bye world. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.